Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Jay. Welcome back to my channel. So, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, pakilike, share, and subscribe. At i-click mo na rin yung notification bell para ma-notify ka sa susunod na lesson. So, ang topic natin ngayon is Solving Problems, Applying the Theorems on Kite. A kite is another special quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram is a kite. Like a rhombus, the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. Kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent sides congruent and no opposite sides congruent. No opposite sides congruent. So let's have the first theorem. In a kite, the perpendicular bisector of at least one diagonal is the other diagonal. So we have diagonals, uh, kite word, and then yung diagonals po natin intersect at, let's say this is S. Okay? Now, so dun sa first theorem, kapag nag-drawing tayo yung diagonals po in a kite, meron tayong tinatawag dyan na line by sector. So asan dito yung line by sector? Yung line by sector na yan, that is OD. Ito yung line by sector natin. Kasi, dinidivide niya yung isang line or segment into two equal parts. Anong segment yung dinivide niya? That is WR. In short, WS is congruent to RS. Ayan po. Pero kapag nag-drawing naman tayo ng diagonal dito, just like WR, tapos ang, ito yung line by sector natin, WR, hindi niya din divide yung isang line into two congruent parts. Ito lang po yung, yung diagonal na, ng kite na din divide niya isang segment na into two equal parts. At the same time, sabi niya perpendicular by sector. Meaning to say, uh, nag-meet mo sila, or nag-intersect sila at a right angle. Okay, so this is a right angle. Next, the area of a kite is half the product of the lengths of its diagonal. Meaning to say, we have diagonals OD and WR. Kapag kinuha natin si area ng ating kite, just get the product of the lengths of these diagonals divided by 2. So, ang formula, pwedeng area of a kite is equal to diagonal 1, let's say WR yun, times diagonal 2, let's say OD, divided by 2. So, ito yung formula po kung paano kunin yung area ng kite. Let's have another properties of on kite. Sabi niya, adjacent sides are congruent, yung definitions po ng ating kind. At I guess na-discuss ko pa ito nung uh, introduction ng ating uh, quadrilaterals. WO is congruent to OR. And WD is congruent to DR. Next po, this angle, let's say this is S, okay? O, W, S, this angle is congruent to O, angle O, R, S. Or, O, W, D, right? O, W, D, or angle O, W, D, is congruent to angle O, R, D. Itong angle na ito ay congruent dito. Pero yung angle na O, W, S, itong angle na ito, ay hindi congruent sa angle dito. Okay po? Yung O, W, S 
ay congruent siya sa ORS, angle ORS dito po. Congruent yan, itong angle na ito at saka dito. And then, itong angle na ito, angle O, is not congruent to angle D. Hindi sila congruent. Okay? Ito naman, since yung angle O po natin, Itong angle na ito, let's say this is angle 1 and angle 2. Kapag nag-drawing tayo ng diagonal dito, just like OD, itong angle na ito ay binabaisek na yung angle. If angle O is 60 degrees, yung angle 1 ay 30 degrees, and angle 2 is also 30 degrees. Congruent po yan. Dito naman, Let's say this is, for example, this is 80 degrees, itong angle D. Okay, ulitin ko po yung angle O at angle D are not congruent. Let's say this is angle 3 po and then angle 4 po ito. And then again, yung angle D ay 80 degrees, binabayasek niya yan. So angle 3 now, this is 40 degrees. Ito naman ay 40 degrees. Okay, so yun lang po yung mga properties ng, ng kite. Okay, let's apply the theorems on kite in solving problems. Let's have the first example. If LM is equal to 6, then MN is equal to blank. So this side and this side. So kung yung LM ay 6, ano yung measurement ng MN? Okay, tama ka dyan. The answer is 6. If Kn, let's have number 2. If Kn is equal to 10.5, then Kl is equal to blank. So, itong side na ito at saka ito. So, alam natin they are congruent. So, tama ka dyan. The answer is 10.5. So, if Ln, so this is Ln. Sorry, this is Ln is equal to 7 and Km is equal to 13. What is the area of the kite? Use the formula A is equal to diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Let's say Ln is the diagonal 1 and Km is the diagonal 2. Substitute natin A is equal to 7 times 13. Divided by 2. Simplify. 7 times 13, that is 91 over 2. Or, ang area natin, ng, ang area ng kite ay 40.5 square centimeters. So, ginawa ko lang po siyang decimal. Pwede rin naman po ito. Okay? Let's have another example. If the area is 96 square centimeters, LN is 8 centimeters. What is KM? So, given yung area, given ang isang diagonal, hahanapin natin yung isang uh, measurement or length ng isang diagonal. So, again, same procedure. We are going to use the formula na A is equal to diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Since ang area natin is 96, is equal to, let's say, diagonal 1 natin, si LN, that is 8 centimeters, tapos yung diagonal 2 natin, that is KM. This is KM. Okay, ginawa ko lang siyang diagonal 2, divided by 2. Simplify natin, by uh, using cross multiplication, or pwede rin yung pong i-divide na ito, yung 8 divided by 2, kasi yung 2 ay divisible by 8. So we have, ang ginawa ko kasi dito ay Krinos multiplication ko. So, this is 192, that is 2 times 96, is equal to 8 times D. To solve for diagonal 2, that is KM. Okay po, ito yung KM. So, KM now, or the diagonal 2, is 24 centimeters. So, KM din po yan. Okay? Okay. Let's have another example. If the measurement of angle 2 is 63 and the measurement of angle 4 is 34, what is the measurement of angle 
angle 1 and angle 5. Okay. Given yung angle 2, which is, eto ay 63 degrees. And angle 4 natin is 34 degrees. Okay. Angle 2 is 63. Angle 4 is 34. Hanapin natin si angle 3, angle 1, and angle 5. So, alam natin yung angle 1 is 90 degrees. Si right angle po yan. So, angle 1 is 90 degrees. So, pwede nating makuha itong angle na ito. Okay? So, by getting the sum of these two angles, angle 1 and 2, 63 plus 90, anong sagot natin? 153. Right? Tapos, subtract mo sa 180. Subtract from 180. So, 180 minus 153. The answer is? Ayan po. Solve po ninyo. So, the answer is? This is 7 and this is 2. So, the answer is 27 degrees. So, this angle is 27 degrees. So, alam natin yung itong angle na ito ay congruent dito sa angle 3. Right? Kung 27 yan, of course, this is also 27 degrees. Okay, next. Solve natin si, nakuha na natin yung angle 3 which is 27 degrees. Angle 5 na lang. Angle 4 is 34 degrees. Alam natin itong angle na ito, this is 90 degrees. Tama? Kasi right angle po siya. Ngayon, solve po natin. 90, para makuha itong angle na ito, i-add natin yung 90 plus 34, subtract from 190. So, 90 plus 34, that is 124. Tama? Subtract this one from 180. So, ang sagot po dyan ay, this is 6, and this is, what? This is 5. So, uh, this angle is 56 degrees. Right? And then, this angle is congruent to angle 5. So, this is also 56 degrees. So, nakuha na po natin yung lahat ng measurements ng angle 3, angle 1, and angle 5. Let's have another example. LN is X minus 1, that is diagonal 1. KM is X plus 2, that is diagonal 2. If the area is 44 square feet, how long are LN and KM? So, use the formula, A is equal to diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Ang diagonal 1 natin dyan, let's say LN, ang diagonal 2 natin dyan, let's say uh, KM. So, substitute the given, area is 44, tama? And then, is equal to ang, our diagonal 1, that is X minus 1, ito yung LN kanina, times yung km natin which is x uh, plus 2 divided by 2. And then, uh, simplify natin or by simply multiply both sides of the equation by 2, we have 88 is equal to the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 2. Okay, paano na ko yung 88? And po, multiply ko lang both sides of the equation by 2. Or pwedeng cross-multiplication. So, makakancel po yan. That is, ito po yung sagot. And then, 2 times 44, ito yung sagot. Okay, simplify this one. Um, product of binomials. We have 88 is equal to, pag minultiply nyo yan, ang sagot ay x squared plus x minus 2. And then, we are going to transpose 88 to right side becomes 0 is equal to x squared plus x minus 2 minus 88. 
Simplify natin. 0 is equal to x squared plus x minus 90. So, itong equation na ito ay quadratic equation. So, kapag quadratic equation yan, we need to solve this one using any method in solving quadratic equation. Pwedeng factoring, completing, or quadratic formula. But this equation is factorable. So, the factors are x plus 10 times the quantity x minus 9 is equal to 0. Using the zero product property, or uh, equate po natin yung dalawang factors into zero, we have x plus 10 is equal to zero, or x minus 9 is equal to zero. Simplify, this is x is equal to negative 10, or x is equal to positive 9. We are going to use the value of x which is positive 9. Because we are going out, uh, we talk about sides or lengths. Okay? So, hindi na pwede yung negative 10. So, ang value ng x natin dyan ay positive 9. Pero ang hinahanap dyan ay yung segment ln tsaka km. So, since ang ln natin ay x minus 1, substitute yung value ng x which is 9. So, 9 minus 1, ln is equal to 8. Yung km naman, km is equal to x plus 2. So, substitute the value of x. We have 9 plus 2. And then, km is equal to 11. So, check po natin kung tama po na ang area nitong kahit na ito ay 44 using the diagonals. So, 8. Multiply natin yung diagonals. 8 times 11, that is 88. Divide natin by 2, that is 44. So, tama pa yung sagot po natin. Na ang value ng x ay 9, ang, ang segment ln is 8, km is 11. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or clarifications, just type lang po yung question nyo po sa ating comment section para masagot po natin yung tanong po ninyo. Keep safe and God bless.